Julianne really performed very well today. Had one problem on beam. Now on floor exercise, they'll have two falls. That's a full point. Bear in mind, after two events, she was the leader in the all-around. Double twisting back, somersault. You can't expect to win today with any mistakes, but the skills keep on getting more and more difficult. It's a real challenge for the gymnast to do well. Julianne McNamara. She is smiling, but she doesn't feel that good about the, the floor exercise. Here we're taking a second look. It's a double back somersault with a full twist. These are the new things the kids have to do in order to be competitive, but it's so easy to make a mistake. Double back somersault with a full twist, and she pops off, was sitting back on it, lands on her backside. That's a total six-tenth deduction on that. The score for Julianne McNamara, 8.65. So, a couple of those moves really cost her. Julianne is unhappy with her performance in the floor exercise, but her teammate, Michelle Dusser, is anything but unhappy. She had an outstanding performance, and she won it with a score of 9.85. Michelle Dusser, the winner in the floor exercise. And once again, her score was 9.85. Mary Lou Redden in second place with 9.65. And Tracy Hinkle with a record of 9.50 in third, which means now that the overall winner is Mary Lou Retton, as you see her being congratulated as the winner of the fourth annual Caesars Palace Women's Invitational. Followed by second place, Diane Durham. Third place, Tracy Talavera. Fourth place, Michelle Dusser. Fifth place, Julianne McNamara. Rounding out the top 10, Weatherstone, Hope, Hinkle, Brombaugh, and Mann. Let's go down to the floor.